uh, Greenlee, uh, Mr. Britton, and uh, Mr. Hodge. And of course, let me again welcome uh, the three of you back to this second segment, uh, <coughs> Ms. Greenlee. Let's have you, Ms. Greenlee, uh, since you've been uh, dealing with this whole issue of youth violence for such a long time, let's have you to explain these two young men to us uh, this day. Well, it, it's simply when I found myself going to six to seven funerals a month with my young kids, and they were 16, 20, some of them was 11 and 12, and I, I got home and I thought about it, how could I be going to all of these funerals in one month with my babies, my black African-American babies, mm -hmm. and no one is being sincere about something's wrong with this picture. So instead of me keep worrying about somebody else and everybody mm -hmm. else, then let me just worry about what can I do. Mm -hmm. So it, it was my duty to get out there in the community mm -hmm. and start asking questions and start gaining trust. Mm -hmm. with them along with my brother Lonnie Greenley we hit the street mm -hmm. and the pavement and we hit it hard mm -hmm. and so this is how we gained the trust of each and every one of the mm -hmm. individuals that surround me I had to come to each one of these young men over and over and over to see my presence and my face and say the same thing mm -hmm. to them every day mm -hmm. I'm here to help you not to hurt you mm -hmm. I'm here to talk with you not talk at you but you give me some feedback on what I really can do mm -hmm. to help you in this community mm -hmm. and so as I've done that they've gained my trust and I've gang there mm -hmm. and now they're teaching me and they're helping lead me through the rest of the mm -hmm. community and areas I couldn't go mm -hmm. without them. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course Rodney, what, what, what about uh, your situation? What, you, what are you trying to do now? Well our main focus again is to bring unity in our community and right now we're working on what we call Respect the Set CD mm -hmm. and what, what we want to do is continue to bring the gang members together on one CD. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, our artists, local artists here in the mm -hmm. city, Young Paper, who's taking this project on with us, mm -hmm. along with trying to get uh, Little Wayne and Stoop Dog also on this CD. Mm -hmm. And our main focus is to respect each other mm -hmm. and to get all the g different gangs, Crip, Blood, Gangs of Disciple, on one CD mm -hmm. that we'll be able to let people know that we can get the three different colors mm -hmm. together into one mm -hmm. uh, atmosphere together. And a second thing that we're trying to do is we really want to teach our future our pledge mm -hmm. that we got. And the pledge is, I pledge not to kill, I pledge not to steal, mm -hmm. I pledge not to rob, mm -hmm. I pledge to protect and serve my community. Mm -hmm. And we want to get that pledge out to our community, to our kids, mm -hmm. teach it to our future. So as they're growing up, mm -hmm. they'll be able to keep that pledge mm -hmm. in their mind mm -hmm. and change the thoughts that they have. So once we put a positive thought in our young mm -hmm. people's mind, and I believe the, the violence will begin to end. Uh, Mr. Hart, so, do you think that uh, that can mm -hmm. uh, reach persons that you know who are currently involved in gangs? And if so, why, how, how do you think it can reach? Well, you know, I say the impossible can be done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my main, my main purpose for doing all is not for myself. Mm -hmm. It's for my two children. Mm -hmm. I have so many siblings growing up around me, younger brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. younger people in the community, plus my homeboys. Mm -hmm. So my main purpose to be here is to show them that we can do this. We can do some positive and make money. Mm -hmm. We ain't got to keep falling back into this trap we keep falling mm -hmm. back into. Mm -hmm. Getting out of jail, can't get a job, so we go back to the drugs, mm -hmm. robbing and stealing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm basically taking a step to try to change things around so everybody can see that it is some positive mm -hmm. for everybody to do. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to be in the same hood all your life. You ain't got to, you can move on. Your dreams can go mm -hmm. on forever. Dreams can mm -hmm. be accomplished. So, well, you know. do, you, do you believe that there are a large number of folks who might be affiliated with gangs such as yours that would, can go along with that, can, can buy into that? I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure once they see me doing it mm -hmm. and they see a product, you know, mm -hmm. you always, they always say if somebody see the product, mm -hmm. they give them a better outlook on mm -hmm. it. So I'm the product. They know you as, they as know a member me. of a gang. Right. They've got, you've got so, some attitudes and reference to right. you. So if they uh -huh. see me doing some positive, uh -huh. they're like, man, he ain't uh -huh. out here robbing, uh -huh. killing nobody, selling no okay. drugs towards my community. Uh -huh. That's good. That is a good That That's is good to sign. the older people. Uh -huh. But to the people that are gang members like me, oh, he got a job. Uh -huh. He's doing some making positive money. Okay. He ain't got to look over his shoulder. Uh -huh. So basically what I'm doing is trying to make the impossible possible. Uh, have we not said that in, in many instances uh, during the conversations that we've had, Ms. Greenlee, that uh, if uh, these young persons had uh, some gainful <laughs> employment, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that, that they would probably be willing mm -hmm. to sort of change in a real sense mm -hmm. and change from uh, guns to mm -hmm. murder and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. What they need is, is somebody to have some kind of faith in them mm -hmm. and have the opportunities. Is that what, speak to that. Yes. 
You just heard it from, from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, they do not have opportunities out here, and this is what all along Galaxy Star has been trying to put out here on surface as of February the 2nd, we moved into the Oasis new building, the Youth mm -hmm. Opportunity Center on 17th and Charlotte. Mm -hmm. That would allow a lot of my youth to come in and get the opportunity of training and skills. Mm -hmm. We are only asking if the community do not open jobs, open their businesses mm -hmm. and their buildings back up to my kids to mm -hmm. help them get back in the system. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. You catch one felon at 12 years old, you 20 years old, that mm -hmm. felon still hanging over your head, mm -hmm. and you won't let me in. I got to feed my baby. I got to get my grandmother mm -hmm. medicine. I got to help my mom that is on drugs okay. trying to get off, take care of my siblings. Mm -hmm. But you won't let me back in, so I can't do nothing but mm -hmm. survive out here. Mm -hmm. And my only survival is to pick up, kill up, and mm -hmm. get what I can. Mm -hmm. So I ask over and over and over. It's up to us community mm -hmm. to open our hearts and our doors mm -hmm. up and to manifest some businesses out here. Mm -hmm. They are ready to get back mm -hmm. into society. Mm -hmm. They are trying. They are showing. Mm -hmm. But if we keep pointing our fingers at those, look at the pants, look at the braids, mm -hmm. look at the grills in their mouth. What are you worrying about all that for? Mm -hmm. When you put some productive stuff in front of their mm -hmm. face, they're going to change all that anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. These young men has really been gentlemen for the mm -hmm. last two weeks that they've been mm -hmm. hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. And I think we noticed that uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Britt uh, <coughs> that uh, the ta tape that you're dealing with, that is the uh, CD that you're, you're, you're talking about, uh, this can play a very, very important part in terms of bringing all of them together. Uh, how have they reacted to this up to this point? Uh, well, members? well, thus far, I mean, the, the, the few gang members that we have outreached to, that we've uh, mm -hmm. uh, talked to, they have been very uh, receptive to our idea. Mm -hmm. They are willing to come on and, and do what they need to do and to support the city. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going very well at this point. Mm -hmm. And we are still searching and trying to get as many as we can mm -hmm. to support this CD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then finally, uh, Mr. Hodge, uh, over the last minute that we have here, do you think that uh, uh, persons that uh, you might know and who might be members of your gang and et cetera, you think that these uh, individuals would uh, change their attitudes if they had a gainfully employed uh, place to go to work and had an opportunity to get trained and education? you think that that would do have an impact upon them? Uh, most definitely, because the main reason they out there, we out here, is because we don't have some of the opportunities other people mm -hmm. got, you know. We got a drugs, you know, drugs, guns, and all that tying the money, mm -hmm. you know. So we can't get the job. We can't get hired. We got kids. We got mouth to feed. Mm -hmm. So we out here just surviving the best way we know mm -hmm. how, really. But if it's some show that you can make money in a positive way. Okay, very good. And, of course, we'll take this second commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience. Follow this here. Hey, are we talking to Miss?